Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about some very interesting vertebrate animals. We present the reptiles. Reptiles are vertebrate animals which are characterized by their special way of moving. Many move by dragging their tummy or abdomen on or close to the ground. Their name in Latin means just that. Reptare means to crawl or slither. Many are terrestrial, but there are also some that live in water. All reptiles have a number of characteristics we should know about so we can recognize them. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that breathe with their lungs. They are oviparous, that is, they reproduce by eggs. When the eggs develop and hatch, the babies are just like their parents, but very small. Aren't they cute? As you can see, reptiles' skin is covered with strong, tough scales, and some, like tortoises, even have a shell. It looks like he has his house on his back, doesn't it? As for feeding, well, most reptiles are carnivorous. They hunt. Like this crocodile which has just eaten this poor rodent. Or this cute chameleon with its long, sticky tongue that catches all kinds of insects. Look, look! As we said already, most reptiles are carnivorous, but some, like this iguana, are herbivorous. There are lots of interesting things you should know about reptiles, such as most snakes have venom in their fangs, but they're not as bad as they seem because they warn us of danger with their bright colors or the sound of their rattles. Chameleons are very curious. They can change color, copying the landscape around them. They blend in with the background so no one can see them and they become almost invisible. So let's remember the most important characteristics of reptiles. Reptiles walk by dragging their tummy on or close to the ground. They are oviparous and their body is covered with strong, hard scales. They are vertebrates and are cold-blooded and remember, they breathe with their lungs. Reptiles really are quite interesting, aren't they? Did you know that some tortoises can live for 150 years? Some of the animal species that live the longest are reptiles. This is the case for the tortoises that live in the Galapagos Islands, who are able to live for 150 years. But these giant tortoises are threatened by humans. For many years, humans have hunted them for their meat and the rich oil that they contain. Also, many of the spaces they live in have been destroyed and the water of the sea of their habitats has been contaminated. Let's hope that all these changes and we are able to look after and protect nature. Did you know that reptiles are very ancient? Without doubt, these animals are among the jewels of evolution of the animal kingdom. Crocodiles have been existing for 250 million years and they are one of the animals 
still have many similarities with the dinosaurs. But they are not the only ones. Look at this Komodo dragon. It has similarities to a dinosaur, doesn't it? Did you know that the longest snake in the world can be 10 meters long and the smallest one 10 centimeters? The longest snake is the reticulated Indonesian python, which can weigh up to 100 kilos. It feeds on birds, rodents, and other reptiles. But the biggest ones are able to eat entire monkeys, deers, and wild pigs. The truth is that they are a bit scary. The one that can't possibly scare you is the silk snake, which is the smallest one in the whole world. And it's only a maximum of 10 centimeters long. As we all know, crocodiles are reptiles. And like all reptiles, their body is covered in scales. Thick, hard scales, which protect the animal serving as its armour. Crocodiles appeared on Earth 200 million years ago, which means they actually lived with the dinosaurs. Isn't that incredible? Crocodiles are oviparous. Look at these little guys who have just hatched from their eggs. They have very strong muscles on their tail and they use them to move in the water. On land, on the other hand, they aren't so fast and they walk very slowly on their four feet. The crocodile's lungs are enormous. They can hold their breath for up to six hours underwater. They're fantastic divers. Crocodiles regulate their body temperature depending on how hot or cold it is. That's why they love sunbathing by the river's edge. They are also carnivorous creatures. When they are young, they eat crabs, frogs, insects, and other small animals. But as they grow older, they eat fish and large mammals and prey on lost and confused animals like this poor rodent. Whoa, he only just managed to escape. Phew. Crocodiles hunt and move stealthily underwater so as not to alert their prey until all of a sudden, bang, they leap out of the water at top speed and grab their victim with powerful jaws. Do you know how many teeth crocodiles have? They have almost 80 sharp teeth. But because they use them so much, some actually fall out. But this isn't a problem because they soon grow back again. They can have up to 3,000 teeth during their lifetime. Look, look, watch how it hunts. Crocodiles can live up to 80 years, but many don't reach that age. Yes, it's true that crocodiles can pose a threat to us humans, but sadly, human beings are a much greater threat for crocodiles. Crocodiles are hunted and their skin is used to make wallets, shoes, belts, bags and many more things. And crocodile meat is a speciality in a lot of countries. They have completely disappeared in a lot of places and in others they are sadly disappearing too. They are in danger of becoming completely extinct, but we must not allow this to happen. Even though they are a little bit scary, we cannot let crocodiles, or any other animal for that matter, disappear from their habitat. They are extremely important for nature's balance. So as always, from Happy Learning, we want to ask you to look after the environment as well as all living creatures, since all of them no matter how dangerous or insignificant they may seem, are crucial for life's balance, they are crucial for nature. The chameleon is one of nature's most curious reptiles. It's capable of changing colour to camouflage, or to say, it can change its colour to match that of its surroundings. 
after no predators can see it. Look, look, try to find it. The chameleon, like all reptiles, has a body that is completely covered in hard scales that protect him from its enemies. But they have a characteristic that makes them very special in comparison to other reptiles. Do you know which one it is? As you have discovered by looking at the images, chameleon's eyes are very special. They are cone-shaped and in the center they have a hole where the pupil picks out. The cone shape allows them to easily rotate their eyes completely in any direction. They can also move each eye independently and that is why they have a 360 view, which is to say they can see everything that is happening around them without moving their head. But well, everything good that they have in their sight is bad in their hearing. Why though? Why do you think that is? As you can see, they don't have any ears and it's believed they are deaf. As we have already said, the fundamental characteristic a chameleon has is that it can change its skin color to adapt to its surroundings. However, the color change also depends on its emotional state. If they're angry, if they're scared or in love. Another characteristic that surprises everyone is their way of hunting. Chameleons, like crocodile, snakes, and the majority of reptiles are carnivorous, which is why they need to hunt to survive. The chameleons hunt their prey with their tongues. Their tongue is very long and can be deployed very rapidly. Its tip is sticky and when it touches its prey, it sticks to it, making it very easy to then eat them. Chameleons feed mainly on insects, although sometimes they can eat small mammals or birds. The truth is that chameleons are very extraordinary animals, don't you think? Komodo dragons were discovered in 1910 on some remote Indonesian islands. And although they don't breathe fire or fly, they are indeed very dangerous animals. These large reptiles, like all other reptiles, are born from eggs, like these tiny crocodiles. The Komodo dragon's bodies are covered by hard, thick scales which protect them from all sorts of dangers. When they are adults, they can grow up to 3 meters in length and weigh more than 90 kilos. They are carnivorous and their jaws are wide, strong and extremely powerful. They have close to 60 razor-sharp teeth, which they use to tear apart their victim's flesh. Their saliva is very infectious, almost even venomous. When they bite their prey, their wound rapidly becomes infected and kills them. They can eat up to 80% of their own weight in a single meal. They are quite the guzzlers. After eating so much, they must rest a while, like this one who is taking a nice long nap. They tend to eat carrion, but they can also be great hunters, capable of detecting their prey at a distance of 10 kilometers away, thanks to their long forked tongue. Even though they don't look like it, they are fantastic athletes. They climb trees, are excellent swimmers and can run at a speed of 29 kilometers an hour. If you don't believe me, 
asked this poor deer, which had a very near miss. These large lizards can live to 50 years old, but the truth is, they don't tend to live so long. Every day, there are less and less of them. Every day, they have less space to live in, and many are hunted illegally to be sold on the black market or kept for their skin. At the moment, there are only approximately 4,000 Komodo dragons in the world. Without a doubt, they are in great danger of being extinct. So, on behalf of Happy Learning, as always, we ask you to look after nature and all its living things. All animals, no matter how terrifying they may seem, are extremely important for our planet's environmental balance. So now you know, take care of it and respect it. Hello happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and today we're going to play a Q&A game about reptiles. Do you know what the word reptile means? Let's take a look at the three options. That they move with their tummy very close to the ground. That their skin is covered in scales. Or that they have a very long tongue. Exactly! The word reptile means that they walk with their stomach really close to the ground. Easy peasy! Reptiles always crawl when they're moving. That means their tummy is touching or very close to the ground. Like this snake. Or this lizard. Or this crocodile. They also have their bodies covered in strong and resistant scales to protect themselves. And they also have cold blood. Well, now we know what the word reptile means. But do you know how they reproduce? They are oviparous. That means that they are born from the eggs laid by the mother. Or viviparous. That means that they are born directly from the womb. Exactly, they are oviparous. All reptiles are born from the eggs that their mothers have laid. When they develop and come out, they look exactly the same as their parents, but tiny. Here you can see miniature crocodiles. Most of them are carnivores. And some of them have venom in their teeth, like this snake. The truth is, when reptiles are small, they can be so cute. But when they grow older, they can be a little scary, don't you think? Let's go for the last question. Which one of these animals is a reptile? A tortoise or a frog? I knew it! The tortoise! Tortoises are reptiles, although lots of people confuse them with amphibians. As you can see in the images, Tortoises have their body full of scales. They reproduce through eggs. And although lots of them live in water, they breathe through lungs. So is it clear that tortoises are reptiles? Crystal clear? Well, I hope you've answered all of your questions correctly, but if you haven't, don't worry, the most important thing is learning. Goodbye happy friends, see you
see you next time and I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye.